Elden Ring, Shadow of the Earth Tree just came out. Let's look at some of the Steam reviews real quick so I can get back to playing the game. Can't wait to smell Michaela's feet. All right, that's it for this one. No, 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 we're not cutting there. I, I just fucking wish I was. <laughs> fucking, why? Fucking night. And there's a 28 comment chain on this. Let's look at this shit. I came to goon. Not gonna lie to you, but those feet probably don't smell as great as you imagine. Since this is operating in magic, we can give it some pretty lord's leeway, but Michaela being essentially some sort of eternal cadaver thing is probably going to have smeat that smell kind of like old dirty pork. What I'm saying is that Quentin Tarantino, if he made a movie about Michaela, somehow wouldn't film the feet. He would film Melania's feet. It's that kind of situation. Twinkella? Okay, Moog. Oh, God. Help. Looks female enough. <laughs> okay. Okay. Miyazaki wasn't lying when he said Elden Ring's DLC was about the size of Limgrave. He also forgot to mention that they stacked five Limgraves on top of each other. 10 out of 10. Vati Vidier. Was it really that big? God damn. Rise, ye toners, we have a DLC to vanquish. Yeah, well, we'll get there eventually. I knew Soldier of Gotchik would return as final boss in DLC. That would be so fucking hilarious if they actually did that. I don't know, guys. Last time I trust a long-haired white boy, he... Spoilered. Uh, guts, probably. Oh, this is... <laughs> Spoiler alert for Berserk, more than likely. Sacrifice the entire gang to become a gob, mm, my girlfriend, calls me an orm in an eye, then return to a plane of existence as a sort of higher being using the body of my unborn child in this unholy ritual, rebuilt an old city that was previously used for a massive sacrifice, I'm pretty sure you want to do the same thing with it, killed the huge Turkish dudes that resulted in the spirit world colliding with horrors, and just when I thought I was going to get my happy ending, he was like, nuh -uh. so yeah, I don't trust this Mikella guy, one more reason to play the game. Oh, we have our first negative review. God, that's a lot. Basically, it's the fucking Eurogamer review. Like, yeah, it's it's too, it's too hard. Like, yeah, I mean, everyone knew it was gonna be that. Which is like, yeah, if you if you do if you don't want a harder Elden Ring, do not buy the DLC. Like, let's be real, <laughs> Michaela. Promise me you'll be my consort. Me with my Dark Moon Greatsword. Yeah, about that. You gotta get the four-on blue-haired waifu. Like, come on. Whoever thought of having 90% of the new mobs have millennial-level combos with the speed of Morgoth needs to be fired and possibly lobotomized. Uh, take a tip from your profile pitch of Levi and just get good. Okay? Just deal with it. Trash. Everything kills you in two taps max. Even with the strongest armor and every defensive debun stat, and every boss has 70 million HP at least. Trash fucking franchise overhyped by neck bearded bitches. Damn. Okay. DLCs for From Software's games have been this level of difficult since fucking Dark Souls. How are you surprised by this? It's going to be Elden Ring but harder. Shut up. Don't give these guys reviews. Don't give these guys awards. Wow, what a surprise. It's more woke garbage. Woken Ring, Shadow of the Rainbow Tree, Save Your Money. For what the hell? How is Elden Ring woke? I haven't gotten that far on the DLC, but what? If you're on New Game Plus, anything will kill you in two hits. Even at level three. They changed the level system for the DLC. Doesn't matter. Yeah, everything scaled to your level. And you have to go find items in the game to, like, lower their hit points or, like, increase your damage and defense. They, they made it that way so that you would not, even if you were completely over-leveled, you could still have a regular time in the DLC. Shut the fuck up. Wow, this is a lot of fucking negative. Fix the stuttering. I didn't see any stuttering. What is the review rate for this? Only 80%. That seems low. Although it is early. <laughs> it's been eight seconds since it released and I haven't been it yet. It's too long. Yeah, I mean, he's right. 
Yeah, this is 2024. We want the game to play itself. Underground map doesn't work, so I can't even access DLC. You have to make it there first, guy. You have to actually get to... You can't just go to the DLC right away. You have to kill Radon. You have to kill Real Moog. Nice DLC from Soft. Can't even access it. They have told you time and time and time and time and time again in order to access the DLC, you have to kill Real Moog and you have to kill Radon. It's not a surprise. Yeah, those are two hard bosses, but fucking get good and do it. Another buggy overpriced DLC. This is why Ubisoft is better. My guy. <laughs> Fun. I haven't even opened it. Yeah. This dude lied. It's way bigger than Limegrave. I need a hug from a maiden. Yeah, I need to touch Grace too. Well, that I need to go play the fucker DLC along with the 600,000 people. So I will take it from there. Oh, look, someone made like 16-bit Elden Ring. That's cool. All right, later, fuckers. Bye.